morning everyone today is a very exciting day i'm having my bedroom decorated um i'm like feeling a bit weird about having someone else do it because normally i would do all the decorating myself but this house is just so full of unevenness and you know things in the walls things that need filling in i want it done like properly um, and my attention span with decorating is like I start right up here motivation wise I'm like go 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 but it quick it very quickly falls off and I just know that I wouldn't do it as well as a professional would so that is what's happening today I feel oh I feel like I wish I kind of saved bits and bobs of what I've done so far for the room but I haven't and I've kind of shown it you all in real time, which is obviously much more realistic. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is, is for anyone who like hasn't seen what I've already done with the room, I'm going to leave links to the vlog where... Actually, I'm going to insert a little clip of the bedroom when I first moved in so that you can see exactly what I was dealing with and you can get a proper idea of the before. So there was the brown carpet, the walls haven't changed, it was mainly the brown carpet. I think there was a, yeah, there was just a blind up there, like I hadn't put curtains up yet. So things have changed a little bit. But today it just feels like everything is going to come together because the paint is going on the walls and I think that makes the biggest difference by far. Obviously the floorboards have already been sanded. I'll leave a link to uh, that vlog in case you want to go and have a look back at that. And I've chosen the colours as well, which again, done in a different vlog, um, but I will actually just show you again which ones I decided to go for. So these are my colour samples that I did, if you remember, and I've written the colour on the back of each one. The walls are going to be in this. This is Farron Balls painting and it's a really, yeah it is, it's like a, a warm off white. That's the colour I decided to go for on the walls. Very excited about that. This is gonna be the woodwork colour and the colour that's going on the door. Mm -hmm. This is Farrow and Ball's Dimity. So that is the, that's the contrast. It's incredibly subtle and if anything, I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna be too subtle but um, we will see. And then the final colour that we're using in the room is Wimborne White, which is the same colour that I painted the kitchen with. And this is going to be on the floorboards and the window. So that is the um, that is the colour. I'm not even sure if you can tell the difference on the camera. There definitely is one. Hopefully, there's enough. Have a difference for it to make a uh, for it to pack pack a punch. Little Hope has some news to share with you. She had her spay operation, didn't you, darling? Last week. She's looking really, really sad, like an uh, RSPCA advert. Are you sad today? You're not sad. You're not sad. <laughs> Do you want to show everyone your scar? They put this little T-shirt on her, which. I said yes to because I think a dog in a in a collar is just such such a sad sad sight. Um, but she wet herself in it, bless her, the first night. So I had to um, so I had to cut it off. But yeah, she's um, she had a spay last week, but she seems to be recovering really really well. She's just been a little bit a little bit off it, a little bit miserable. She's definitely starting to. Uh, to feel better. So I've emptied out the room this morning, completely cleared that out and it's been decorated now so it's like I want to keep popping my head in and seeing like what does it look like, what are the paint colours like? Um, so yeah I think we'll keep doing that throughout the day. <laughs> Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, 
Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter Nothing matters so I cry instead definitely is one this is two coats of paint now that have gone on and first impressions I love that it's not pure white but it feels quite yellow and I think that's just because I'm so used to like pure pure white and you can see like the contrast between the colours is definitely there and maybe wish it was a little bit more contrasting. I'm not sure. I'm always a bit, I don't know if you're like this, but I'm always a bit, it takes me like at least overnight, if not a few days to settle with change. I'm not great with change. I get really panicky and anxious about it. But the colours are, they are really, 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 really beautiful. And they definitely, yeah, they definitely, complement one another so tomorrow this window is being done and the floor is going to be painted and then we can get this room put back together um these arrived today which i'm really happy about these are new door handles the door handles that were on i'm not sure if you um if you noticed them before they weren't great <laughs> and I did think about putting like new doors those sort of you know slatted cottagey style doors on but this is a rental and these just felt like a much more rental friendly upgrade these are from Etsy and I'll leave a link to um, to those for you and that's a really good tip actually to upgrade things is to always upgrade things that you like physically touch because you will you'll feel that much much more so yeah they're looking really cute that does still um still pure white but on the other side it's gonna look uh yeah it's gonna look really really nice and i know there's so much more to this life but it's hard to see it clearly Yeah, I try my best but nothing turns out right God, I need you now so dearly Cause I've been running in circles Trying to catch my breath I've been trying Everything I can, but I ain't got nothing left. I've been running circles, trying to catch my breath. I've been trying everything I can. I ain't got 
got nothing left Okay, so it's a few days later now. I had to leave it a couple more days than I would have liked for the floor to dry, but I've put it back together. I do not recommend trying to put a bed back together on your own. It was <laughs> not very good, and I'm pretty sure that I've damaged it a little bit by uh, bending the brackets, but I've managed it, I've done it. Go me. Um, so yeah, everything is now put back together so I can give you a full tour. And here it is. It feels so much cleaner. I mean, it was calm anyway because the colours were neutral and I think choosing neutral colours is the easiest way to get a very calming, minimalist sort of uh, sort of feel. That pillow just needs a... Yeah, that's straight. So I thought I'd give you just a little run through of like where everything's from. Obviously, you know about the colour choices and why I went for those hand on heart pointing I don't know if it's a bit too yellowy for me I'm gonna live with it but I'm not a hundred percent first reaction is like mm, maybe I should have gone for pointing on the floor and when born on the walls but we'll uh, <laughs> I mean it's not horrible by any means it's beautiful we'll uh, we will see so the curtain pole is from Dunnell the curtains are from an Etsy, an Etsy shop. These bedside, bedside tables are vintage and I always like to bring a little bit of vintage into every room because I think it helps just take that shiny newness off it and it adds a little bit of story. Um, they were from a local vintage shop. The lights were from Dunnell. The bed, I get asked about this all the time and it is the cocoa bed from loaf home and like i'm just a big believer that this is all you need for a bedroom a bed two bedside tables lamps with very low warm lights in them and that's it i mean this is not the biggest bedroom in the cottage but i chose to have this as my bedroom because like the I, i'm a really big fan of like functional design and I think about what a bedroom's purpose is and you know it's a sanctuary to relax and uh, recharge and other things but mainly <laughs> a sanctuary to relax and uh, and recharge so that is what that's what I've tried to stick to that's what I've what I've created um, yeah the rug was part of a paid partnership that I did with Instagram um, with not with Instagram with Ruggable on Instagram these rugs are incredible like I would highly recommend having a look at these they're really cool because they're like they're really thin and they sit on like a sticky pad so um, I mean you'd need help but I can just take this up and shove it in the washing machine so just so so um, so so practical but yeah super super simple the main light is from Dunnell again and as I said, the new uh, the new door handles they've made a huge difference, especially on on this side of the door. And they're from an Etsy from an Etsy shop. Again, in terms of the contrast, I think if I'd gone for Wimborne on the walls, I would have got a little bit more contrast. So maybe either the door should be darker, the walls lighter. But we're nitpicking; like it, it looks. It looks beautiful. It looks a lot, lot better. I'm, I'm so, 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 so happy with it, and I think I just need to, uh, I just need to live with it. The only other thing that I would like to add to this room, so I do want to keep it as simple and clean as possible, but opposite the bed, I would like like something inspirational to uh, to look at. And I'm thinking maybe a nice piece of art, but I haven't I haven't found anything yet. I'm not rushing. I'm just going to uh, take my time with it. And then the other day, I saw some olive trees um, for sale outside. I think it was Aldi, and they were like super super cheap. And I thought one might look really lovely 
in that corner so I may well pick one of those up over the weekend but other than that this room is completely completely finished so that is it for the bedroom makeover hopefully you've enjoyed having uh, having a watch of it oh it's yeah it feels good to like finally have a whole room completely done and I'm looking forward to eating Easter eggs in bed over the Easter weekend now <laughs> I hope that you have a lovely, lovely Easter weekend, whatever you are doing. Next week, I'm gonna have a week off, so there won't be a vlog um, in a week's time, but there will be one after that, but yeah. Thanks so much for watching, as always. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely Easter weekend, and I will, uh, I will see you soon.